let's take a look at a quick and easy method for creating a chocolate mousse that could have amazing benefits. Meet Emma Morano, the extraordinary lady who lived to the ripe age of 117. Her secret, she savored two raw eggs every morning. And then there's Jean Comment, who broke records by living to a jaw-dropping 122 years. Her daily routine included indulging in olive oil and chocolate. Yes, you heard it right. Raw eggs, chocolate, and olive oil. We can't guarantee these ingredients are the fountain of youth, but they might just be part of the puzzle. Imagine this, with just these three great ingredients, you can create something incredibly delicious. They say having a reason to get out of bed is vital, and something as tasty as this may just be the motivation you need to start your day with a smile. While traditional chocolate mousse can be quite a fab to make, there's an easy and quick version. Let's get cooking. Melt some dark chocolate, add a dash of milk to make it silky, and mix it. For the dairy-free folks, opt for a brand without seed oils. Choose one made with oats, water, and a pinch of sea salt, or even oats and hemp seeds. Once it's velvety and well mixed, remove it from the heat and stir in a splash of extra virgin olive oil from a trusted source. Add two vibrant egg yolks, go for the healthy, happy chickens. Mix them in, and voila, you can enjoy it warm or chill it in the fridge. It's yummy. But done this way, it's not light and fluffy, so can it really be called a mousse? And when people talk about having a reason to get out of bed in the morning, they're probably talking about something more purposeful than a yummy breakfast. So let's solve both these issues by taking this to the next level. Here's how to use this magical mixture to make a mousse. Grab a paintbrush, dip it in the delightful mixture, and let your artistic talents bring a mousse to life. There you go. You've made a chocolate mousse. And you've also done something creative. To keep the mind young, you can now go on a moose hunt. Our ancestors were hunters, and were hardwired for it. Take turns with a friend to hide your moose painting and leave a trail of clues. Solving the puzzle will keep your mind young, and if you set a time limit, it will also encourage movement and exercise. If you find the moose, you get to have a moose. The moose is a keystone species, and here's why. You may be familiar with the idea of vegetative succession. Left to its own devices, grassland will scrub up into bush, and left to its own devices, bush will eventually become closed canopy forest. But just as in a city you want different areas performing different functions, for an optimal ecosystem, you want a mix of habits in different areas. You have natural processes, animal impacts, which will halt succession at various stages in different places. Some areas may stay as grassland, other may scrub up into bush, and at the borders between the plain and the bush, biodiversity thrives. And then in other areas you'll get taller trees and in some you'll get closed canopy forest, and it's this mosaic that you're after. Of the many types of habitat important for biodiversity, one is ponds. And these have their own process of vegetative succession. Water plants grow in the ponds, particularly those in woodland. Succession causes these ponds to fill up more and more, becoming grown over and eventually disappearing altogether, which is a problem for all the wildlife that needs these ponds, such as amphibians, insects, waterfowl and fish. This is where the moose comes in. Moose come to the rescue, wading into the water and munching on plants, keeping ponds open for various wildlife. They're nature's engineers, much like beavers. So when we talk about the insane benefits of moose, we mean it. They're environmental heroes. A theory on the ancient cave paintings that will continue to cycle in and out of favor is that they were created for purposes of sympathetic magic. Paint the fauna into being on the rock walls, and it will cause it to appear magically in the landscape. There is a certain way in which this could be true. Art has always been a great way to enhance and amplify certain feelings and values, changing hearts and minds. The reintroduction of species depends on people wanting it to happen. Helping people value a species is a great way to help with this. Anyway, in short, what have we said? 
Number 1, introduce moose to your diet. Number 2, introduce moose to the landscape.